cryptocurrencies because uh, they have been one of the biggest victims of yesterday's sell-off. Joining us right now is Mike Novogratz, Galaxy Digital CEO. Mike, it's great to see you. Uh, trying to understand where this is all headed, whether this is a, a buying opportunity, if you will, to buy the dip, uh, or there's something uh, grander, talking, that, that's a play on words, uh, about what's uh, really happening here, Mike. Listen, you know, the, the crypto markets had an amazing run. So let's keep, first I'll put that in perspective. It's had an amazing quarter. Um, there was a tremendous amount of activity around what we'll call level one blockchains, things like Ethereum, where people realized the story is not just Bitcoin, but it really is Web3. And missing Web3 would be like missing the internet. And so we've seen lots of money pile in. And I think the market got itself a little too long. Uh, the China news scared people. Uh, worry, worry about Fed coming out and you know talking about stable coins and regulation. Gary Gensler has been like the tough sheriff. There was rumors yesterday all over the big conference in New York that the SEC was showing up and subpoenaing people. Yep. And so I think there was a lot of just a lot of nervousness in the market, and you washed washed a lot of shorter term risk out. Uh, we held forty thousand overnight in Bitcoin and twenty eight hundred in Ethereum. I think those are very important levels for people to watch. As long as those hold, I think the market's in good shape. I see nothing but engagement and activity from our investing clients and our corporate clients. Uh, the level of inquiry, the level of business hasn't been higher. You, you notice today SoftBank came out and let a round for uh, an NFT project in Europe called So Rare, right? a $660 million capital raise. And so we see so much capital coming into this space in private ways and in public ways. Uh, I'm not nervous. I actually think Not it's nervous. a buy, but but listen, you know the prices are prices. It was a, it was an ugly day in crypto yesterday. But speak to two issues. Let's 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 break them down. One is China. How important is the Chinese market when it comes to the valuation right now of Bitcoin and Ethereum? Because clearly that's at least what initially spooked folks. Yeah, listen, it was a lot more important five months ago before China basically said we're banning crypto. Uh, and so miners have moved out of China. China was never a big source of, of innovation in the space, uh, but it was a big source of trading. And I think there's still plenty of trading in China. Uh, you know, the Chinese are smart. Uh, they know how to use VPNs, but it's harder and harder. And so I think it's less and less important. Um, but, you know, people do worry. Uh, one of the biggest worries in crypto has been this, you know, stable coin called Tether. Uh, Tether has performed very well through this entire thing, uh, but people have this idea that Tether has got lots of their stable coins backed by Chinese commercial paper. Right. And if that was the case and Evergrande blows up, you got to think Chinese commercial paper is worth less. And so some of this was a reaction to say, oh my goodness, if Tether goes, that would be a really bad thing. Uh, you know, the Fed is talking about stable coins. I think you're going to, I'm sorry, the Treasury is talking about stable coins. I think you're going to see them come out with guidelines and say, hey, the stable coins they sanction are literally backed by assets held at Fed banks. Um, so that's going to be, you know, something we watch really closely over the next, you know, week to, to three months.